What's going on everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button in below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. This Saturday is Money in the Bank. And once again, Triple H has, has his formula. Five matches. Two Money in the Bank matches. We got a championship match. Actually, we got uh, two championship matches and a six-minute tag. This I think this is really going to be a, a good showing. <laughs> Especially after. Did you see SmackDown on Friday? Uh, I believe I, I believe I did. The one with, uh, you know, stressed out Paul Heyman came oh, out yeah, there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I saw it. I saw it. And then he took he told Suge Solo Knight that he wasn't the tribal chief. He is not the tribal chief. And he went out and called Death Row. Uh huh. And he just sat there and then they even though yeah, your Tongas were struggling to get Paul Heyman up there, bro. They were struggling. Paul ain't a light dude. So. <laughs> I was just like, yo, they 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 struggling, but. Jacob Fatu and Powerbomb him to that table. Now he's officially part of the Bloodline. Mm, yes, sir. That new Bloodline. So I'm just like, okay, okay. We um, I'm t- uh, I, that was a hot angle going on, going uh, um, uh, leaving off SmackDown. So we got a five match card. So it's time to give our predictions of what we think is going to happen, and we what the summer same thing is going to look like. So let's get right up into this. Let's start off. With the women's Money in the Bank ladder match, we have EO Sky taking on Chelsea Green, who's going to be over like gangbusters on Saturday. Laura Vicuria, Tiffany Stratton, Naomi, and Zoe Stark. So, Q Flow, who do you think is going to win, or do we just automatically know wh- wh- where this is going? I feel like it's going to Chelsea. Really? I feel like it's going to Chelsea. Bro, you That's know, who I feel. Who I want to win is Naomi or Tiffany, but I feel like it's going to Chelsea. Chelsea gonna be over like crazy because it's gonna be in Canada. It so she's gonna be over like crazy. My, uh, the my only thing is though, this is already tailor made for Tiffany Stratton to win. Yeah, but she, I guess I mean she's still in trouble. No, you know, honestly, I, I, I know she hasn't been, you know, been featured too much in the week, and I she was in trouble. Yeah, well, yeah. See, like I said, I, I, I didn't know how serious that they took that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I I'm not. I, I didn't think it was. I just they, they think that. Well, they ain't got much for it to go go on. But yeah, if she's back now and she been, she just beat Meechin again. And uh, I forgot who, who, who else she beat. On SmackDown, like yeah, she's going. Uh, what, 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 yeah, it was a qualifying match. I think right? it was. I think it was. Wasn't it? Uh, it wasn't. Um, Jade. Was it? Oh, you know what? It could have been Jade and because uh, Jade and Candice been, LeRae. You're right. Really. Jade and Candice LeRae because they was in. They had because Indy Hartwell came out, and hit and, and knocked Jade's head, and then later on, Jade been came killing in. Killing my points, man. Yeah, and Jade came in there, and then uh. Beat up Indy Hartwell for Naomi to get the win, so yeah, it was Candice LeRae. So yeah, she she's fine. She's going to put, most likely pull down that pull down that, that suitcase. It, okay. Now, if they decide to go the Chelsea route, I wouldn't be mad at it. If they decide to go the Chelsea route, I wouldn't be mad at it. But it's, but if if anything, it's like I have Tiffany Stratton at like ninety six percent. And I have Chelsea Green at four percent. Everybody else says zero. I love Naomi, yeah. and I, I want to do stuff with Naomi. But Naomi is going to be the spot monkey in this one, and I'm not using yep. that as a racial slur. And Zoe Stark's going to be doing the same thing. <laughs> Eo Sky is going to be, you know, get a moose off the ladder. And Love Our Curious is happy to be there. So, oh, yeah. yeah, but it, it's Tiffany or Chelsea for this one, at least for me. Now, the one I cannot predict too much of is the singles match for the Intercontinental Championship. Sami Zayn taking on Braun Breaker. Boy. Boy. 
Braun Breaker is something special right now. Yeah, he's killing. I I can just sit there and watch Braun Breaker run the ropes all damn near all day. I can't. He too damn fast. Yeah, t- bro. Tell me about it. I, the way he does th- it's, it's scary how fast that man is. And we have seen throughout the, the past. So he almost broke his neck doing that. Yes, he almost broke his neck doing that. And also with the Frankenstein, so he, he gotta calm down a little bit. Don't slow down. Just calm down a little bit before mm-hmm. you know you, before you kill yourself. Just make sure you make sure you hitting them ropes. Now we see that. He had a match against Sheamus that was interrupted by Ludwig Kaiser. He had a match against Kaiser that was interrupted by Sheamus. He's a pissed by that. So, but he says it should just be me and Sammy one on one for the title. Sammy told Adam Pearce to make the match. Sammy gonna get his man a hell of a match, and it's gonna be a hell of a good one. But I got Sammy Zayn retaining. Do you? Yes, I have because I have a theory for SummerSlam. But you go ahead, and give me a prediction. Um. I kind of, I kind of, I think Sammy's going to retain too. I think it's just a tad too early. Uh, I don't even think it's a tad too early. I just think, uh, I just think that title going to, um, going to Chad. Yeah, see, it, it, it's but it, I don't know. Right now, they have moved on from there, and uh, they may revisit it. I'm, I'm not sure what their plans are. They obviously got they got some kind of plans for it. I'm not necessarily sure, but. My thing is, I think from the whole Sheamus interaction, the whole Ludwig Kaiser interaction, I think at some extent it's going to be a fatal four-way. Sammy, Braun, uh, Sheamus, and Ludwig. And Ludwig to the point where... Yeah, I thought... I, I See, I thought we was getting that at Money in the Bank. Yeah, so, well, yeah, I'm with you then. I'm with you then. Yeah, yeah because I, I, I don't think Trish wants to overload the card too much because I mean, it's, it's going to be another banger. But it's like, we're going to save all the bangers for SummerSlam because it, it's it's... The WrestleMania of the summer. Yeah. So I see them doing a fatal four way at SummerSlam, and that way you can, one you can have a banger ass match, and two, Braun Breaker can pin somebody else instead of Sami Zayn to win that championship. So he can pin Ludwig Kaiser, he can pin Sheamus to win that championship. If they're not ready to pin Sami Zayn just yet, because like I said I think Sami Zayn is going to win this matchup uh, on Saturday. And then Braun Breaker will win his Intercom Championship at SummerSlam uh, in the Fatal 4-Way by pinning Ludwig Kaiser, I should say. Mm. That, that's, how, that's how I see it. Uh, th- th- then we got... Uh, let me do the men's. Okay, I'll do the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. We got Jey Uso, Carmelo Hayes, Andrade, Chad Gable... L.A. Knight, yeah, yeah, and Drew McIntyre. This should be another banger of a matchup. Also, now depending on what is happening, this match either opens. Say or it with me. Say oh, all right. Uh, oh, say what? Which I'm listening. Drew is getting screwed. Oh, Drew's getting screwed again. Drew's getting screwed again. But it, now here's my question to you. Q flow because that the, the, the way he gets screwed is depending on what the outcome of the match is going to be. Is AJ Lee is pulling up? You oh, do not they, disrespect the woman's dog. No, I'm joking. Oh, I mean, I mean, you was right. You you was a dog father, and I ain't talking about oh, yeah. you know any other one. You, you you was a dog father, so I'm just saying. Does does do does AJ or CM Punk screw Drew McIntyre during the match? Or after he wins the briefcase. Uh. Oh. So okay. Nah, Same. I think it's. I think. Uh, nah. Because okay, so I'm, they I'm, gotta I'm, screw him out the briefcase. I'm about to say because I'm, I'm about I'm about to pay the devil's devil's advocate. So if okay. they screw him from getting the briefcase, who do you have win the match? Who else is in it again? Oh, oh, wait. No, no, no. Because I got LA Knight going for... Logan Paul. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got him getting that US title. So then... Uh, so who that, else is in it? That leaves Gable, Andrade, Carmelo Hayes, and Jey Uso. I'm not mad. Uh, it's too early for Carmelo. 
but I'm not mad at that at the same time. Um, damn, I don't know. So, I mean, does, does Gable win it? Uh, no, because I feel like Gable's going to get screwed too by the white six. So it, it has to be, it would have to be Jay if if Drew gets screwed during the match. All right, so here's my theory. Well, see, that's too many distractions, and that's something you do for SummerSlam. Exactly. Also, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, no, if anybody's getting distracted, it's going to be Gable. So, yeah, it, Drew's winning. Drew's so, winning. My, the way my prediction worked is I had Drew McIntyre winning because mm-hmm. everybody and their mama is expecting CM Punk to call Dan and screw Drew McIntyre. So it's way evident that it's like everybody's going to be expecting him to screw him out again the briefcase when Drew McIntyre climbs the, the briefcase. They're expecting to hear that cult of personality play. He comes from the crowd. He pushes that ladder over and then Gable runs up and gets it or Carmelo runs up and gets it and does all that kind of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But what if he grabs it down because Drew said when I grab it I'm cashing it in that night which means I'm cashing it in on Priest and I'm ca- and, and Seth Rollins I'm cashing it in now once the money in the bank is cashed in the, the briefcase is cashed in that's it no fake action. So now, imagine seeing Paul. He, he he lets Drew win the match, and then Drew goes in and he dominates uh, Damian Priest or or Seth Rollins, whatever the case may be. And then he like he cashes in. They ring the bell. It's an official match, and then CM Punk comes out, and then he screws him to the point now. Not only did he screw about the championship match, he don't have another shot because he lost the contract because he ca- officially cashed it in. The, the amount of heat, that will be nuclear heat for their Yo. match at SummerSlam. Yo, Nuclear fat. heat on that matchup. Like, it, I'm talking about so much nuclear heat at that match at SummerSlam, you may have to put that on the main event. You just may have to consider it. That's how much heat. This match got because if they if they if the rumor is Colo uh, Colo, if the rumor is Cody and Solo, that ain't made not 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 over them, not over Drew and CM Punk. No sir. So that's why I I had a prediction because especially if the way the bank match opens the men's open, then Drew Drew wins that match easily. Mm. The only thing is if it doesn't open. And the women's open, and something else opens. Then I have Chad Gable winning. But if it opens, I want to make have Drew winning, and I have CM Punk ca- screwing him during his Money in the Bank cash in as the match starts, not before he not not before he wins the briefcase. So, because that will put some mad heat. And you're in Canada, you're in Bizarre World as they call it, that'll give you some mad heat right there. <laughs> mad heat. So yeah, Drew McIntyre's what I got. Then we got the last chance match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Damian Priest taking on Seth freaking Rollins. If Damian Priest wins, Rollins will never challenge for the title for as long as Priest is As champion. long as Priest is. Mm-hmm. And if Rollins wins, Priest must leave the Judgment Day. So we got some stakes in the matchup. So now, who do you think is going to win that thing initially before Drew before Drew comes out and cashes and cashes in? I think uh, I think Priest is going to retain. Well, hold on, damn it! Cause see, I got down the line. I got, dang it! I'm listening. It don't it don't make sense anymore though. Cause I got I got the plot twist being that Finn Balor was in on it with Liv Morgan screwing over Judgment Day, yeah. like messing up messing with Judgment Day, which will ultimately lead to um, Priest losing his title. But they could I'm, I don't know I don't know. So I don't see I don't I I think it's too early for I think it's too early for Rollins to come back though. So I, I don't mean, know. He, the man said he's healthy, so here's my thing. I think that 
the winner of the King of the Ring, which is Goofy, takes on the champion champion at SummerSlam. Goofy. Oh Seth. yeah, yo, oh god, I forgot he's yeah. taking the title regardless. Okay. So, the way I look at it is, I don't know if they want to do a Priest and Goofy match at SummerSlam, mm-hmm. where I think Priest, I mean, I think Rollins and Goofy could be a better match. So I'm not necessarily sure. Uh, so I can see Rollins winning, and then and then that causes beef within the Judgment Day, which could give us a Finn Balor versus Priest match at SummerSlam. And it, it, it got that little building story, or you know Priest retains and he stays in the Judgment Day, and it's like if Rollins never cha- challenges again for the championship, I mean they ain't got that long to wait because Guth is going to take it at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. True. So he ain't like, like he gonna get it off. Ain't like he gonna get it off Gunther. Exactly. But for, for, for him to challenge for it, at the priest is going lose it. So but once again, it's like, do they do priest and Gunther? I don't know because that that's. I mean, priest is acting more like a baby face, but but he is he just he's still a heel group, and so is Gunther. And I don't know if they want to do two heels. Mm-hmm. So, right, I think I'm gonna go with the safe surprise pick, and I'm gonna go with Seth freaking Rollins to win the championship. I think you can get more out of that story, have a have a, a crazy match with Guther, and uh, uh, damn, I was about to say he got great and then, then then you can do the whole Judgment Day, Damian Priest and Finn Balor thing on the side. Yeah, and that could be their match at SummerSlam. So it's that's all I'm thinking. Main event. T- See once again, I don't know if it's gonna be. I, it may be. We don't know what the main event is. We really don't know. I don't know what the main event is. But it's a six-man tag match. Cody Rhodes, Roman. Oh no, damn. Lying my ass off. Cody Rhodes. It is not Roman. Randy Orton and Kevin Owens taking on the bloodline. Now, here, and that, I these end up Wikipedia or on the internet or on like W.com is saying it could be any three members of the any three members of the bloodline. It's going to be Solo, Tama Tonga, and Tonga Lord. Jacob Fatu cannot go to Canada. And people may be thinking, well, why is that? Well, for those who don't know, Jacob Fatu, he is a real Nick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, you, it, like, like, might as well. Like, he had he real things outside of this. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, he went to jail. Uh, excuse me, prison. Prison. Not no holding prison. This ain't no couple D D I uh DUIs that the Usos got. This is prison. Alright? So no, Ken ain't let him in, in, in their country. He, he's he's not going. He's not going. So it's going to be solo Tama uh, Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa. That's who that's who's gonna be. Now if they, 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 they could shock me and they could let him over in Canada. And he could be there. I will be shocked. Shocked, I tell you. But in order to establish this new bloodline and establish Jacob Fatu being here, the bloodline has to win. Yeah, they do. They 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 they, they have to win, and I think they're gonna pin Kevin Owens on that. That that they have somebody to pin. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna pin the world champion Cody Rhodes just yet, and um. I don't think you ready. I ain't see Radio take much pins since he came back. So, yeah, it's going to Kevin Owens, and it's going to be Solo, Tama, and, and Tonga Lord. And maybe their brother join them in, in Money in the Bank, and then, and then you can finally get, you know, five of them. Like, who who knows? Who knows? But I, I, I got penciled in that Roman's going to come back at SummerSlam. You think so? I'm thinking, I think if Roman comes back at SummerSlam, especially if they do a Solo Sokoa. Versus Cody for the championship, and that's when Roman comes down and uh, you know stares at Solo because you, you you put Paul Heyman through the table, you put his wise man through the table. He ain't asked for all that, so Roman will come back soon. Soon, I just think it ain't gonna be at Money in the Bank. It's gonna be at SummerSlam right after uh, if, if Solo's have a championship match. Uh, against Cody, that's what he'll, that's what he'll come out in. So, but yeah, I I I got I got the bloodline winning. Who do you have winning for the six man tag? 
Well, I definitely got the bloodline winning. You know, why uh, they can a, they absolutely cannot have Cody Rhodes get pinned though. I agree. Like, that's why I said that's why Kevin Owens is there. Kevin Owens can take that pin and be all right. Hell, even or he can take the pin. How much you want to put him over? But like, if Jacob Five Two was wrestling, I, if I was Orin, I'd be like, okay, I put I put him over. But he, he not. So Kevin Owens could take this pin. It'd be fine. Yeah, so. yeah. So, guys, that was our money in the bank predictions. Uh, it is on Saturday. Well, I had a review up on Saturday, most likely not, but probably uh, Sunday. I'll probably have it up then, so you guys can check that thing out. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for all that. I'm actually excited for the show. I think this show. I think, like Shamer said, I think this show could be a banger. 